Tonight, an explosive family feud. Elderly parents dumped on the streets, their life savings stolen by their own daughter. Plus, D-Day for Australia's family of thieves, how they robbed taxpayers blind for 22 years and at home with Dr Harry. Tonight, 7.30 on 7, the team from The Mole meets Cornelia in the intriguing new Weakest Link special. Wait till she gets hold of the traitor. disaster, a joyride in a homemade buggy ends in tragedy. Chilling footage, six months on, never before seen video of the World Trade Center attacks. And Moomba magic, record crowds flock to the city for a party. This is 7 News Melbourne with Peter Mitchell and Jim Wilson. Good evening, those stories in a moment. First, Jim Wilson with the sports headlines. Thank you, Mitch. Hello, everyone. South Africa has hit back in the second test. We'll have all the highlights and more on that AFL drug controversy. We'll see you shortly. Welcome to 7 News, coming to you live from our new headquarters at Docklands. And first tonight, the tragic end to a holiday joyride in northern Victoria. A 28-year-old mother from Rushworth is dead after a homemade dune buggy crashed into a tree, the vehicle driven by a 13-year-old boy. More news still to come here at Docklands, but now let's have a quick weather update with David Brown. Thanks very much, Mitch. Well, it's been a warm day in town. It reached 32 degrees. The change has arrived. There are some showers sweeping through. It's currently 19. I'll have all the weather details, including the seven-day forecast, straight after sport. Thanks, David. Coming up next in 7 News, green anger, logging protesters arrested in country Victoria, and all natural, the easy way to beat the Battle of the Bulge. The Brax government is under fire, accused of stalling a decision on a new site for a toxic waste dump after almost two and a half years in power. To finance news now and the Australian stock market continues to go from strength to strength. Six months since the September the 11th tragedy, it surpassed its all-time high and is making new records. And property also continues its amazing growth. In Melbourne, the residential market has seen strong rises in the past 12 to 24 months, buoyed by falling interest rates. To a special 7 News health report now. And scientists have discovered an all-natural way to help people lose weight. So far, clinical trials proving to be extremely successful, with patients showing positive results in just three months. Jim Wilson returns next with sport. Thank you, Mitch. Coming up, a boil over in the Australian Cup and South Africa's gallant fight back against Australia in a second test. Tonight, an explosive family feud. Elderly parents dumped on the streets, their life savings stolen by their own daughter. Plus, D-Day for Australia's family of thieves, how they robbed taxpayers blind for 22 years. And at home with Dr Harry. First, football and West Coast is investigating claims two Eagles players were allegedly caught in a police sting ordering cocaine from a drug dealer. But Eagles chairman Michael Smith says the club has heard nothing from police about the allegations. And there's a great buzz around here tonight, isn't it? Nice to be in our new home, so to speak. Yes, a bit of settling in to do, but we'll get there. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Still to come tonight, David Brown with all the week's weather details. Tonight, family feud, elderly parents left homeless by their own daughter, plus Australia's family of thieves at it again and at home with Dr Harry. This weather update is proudly brought to you by Better Electrical. Now it's time for weatherman David Brown tonight joining us from outside Seven's new home here at Docklands, David. 
That's exactly right, Peter. Yes, thank you, and good evening, everyone. Welcome to Docklands by Victoria Harbour. Yes, the new home of Channel 7 Melbourne. And weather-wise this weekend, ideal conditions. In fact, our best weekend since Australia Day. While the change, it moved through Melbourne a couple of hours ago. It's quite cool now. We've had a few showers pushing through. They're now sweeping across the eastern suburbs. The maximum temperature was 32 degrees. Currently, it's a rather breezy 19 degrees. From the satellite, as we take a close look now, that massive cloud we can see there over the southeast corner is the change that pushed through Melbourne only earlier this afternoon. So far, rainfall has been light and very patchy, although some heavy falls are possible about the ranges this evening. As we run that forecast pressure pattern for tomorrow morning, the tail end of the front will clear the state early in the morning. Until then, some thunderstorms are likely over the northeast highlands. Cooler conditions, of course, those southerly winds pushing through, and it looks like we're stuck with this cool pattern for most of the week. Now, if you are travelling interstate tomorrow, up in Brisbane, it should be fine in 30 degrees. Sydney, chance of a thunderstorm and 27. Uh, Adelaide, dry and 22 degrees. Perth, sunshine, and they're looking for 33 degrees. For Victoria, fine and warm, north of the ranges tomorrow, of course. That front having little impact up there in the south, just some isolated showers and most falls less than two millimetres. Temperatures generally in the high teens to low 20s. Around the uh, Bay Area, mostly dry in the western suburbs. In the east, just a few brief showers from time to time, clearing by the afternoon. Temperatures in the high teens to low 20s. As for Melbourne, in the city, a few brief showers, clearing to a fine afternoon with some sunny breaks. A forecast top there of 21 degrees. Let's take a look now at our seven-day forecast. Well, as we can see there, Wednesday, some early drizzle, then fine about 21 degrees. Thursday should be dry and sunny, about 23. Friday warmer, 28 degrees. Saturday warming up, up around 30. That's the latest weather, becoming fine tomorrow and a top of 21, Mitch. Thanks, David. In front of Melbourne's new landmark, the Big Seven. Tomorrow night, we begin our special Fuel Watch segment where we'll bring you the cheapest petrol prices in your local area. And that's the way it is this Monday, the 11th of March. Thanks for your company. Today, tonight, with Naomi Robson is next. For now, from the Seven News team, Good night.